No, this is not Michael Myers. This is a real photograph of the very first plastic surgery done in history. It was done on an English sailor named Walter Yeo during the First World War. Walter Ernest Neil Yeo was born in Plymouth, Devon. At the young age of 12, Yeo enlisted into the Marines as a bugler, a person who played the bugle, a simple brass instrument. Two years later, he was promoted to a petty officer role. During the Battle of Jutland on May 31, 1916, Yeo was wounded while he was operating the guns aboard a ship. His facial injuries were severe as they left him without the upper and lower eyelids. He was admitted to Plymouth Hospital and was transferred to Queen Mary's Hospital later. Enter Sir Harold Gillies, the father of modern plastic surgery. He was the first to treat Yeo's injuries with a new technique he developed called tubed pedicil flap. The patient would have the skin and soft tissue taken from an undamaged donor area and then transplanted into an area that needed tissue reconstruction. In Yeo's case, it was his eyelids. As the process healed, it resembled a mask. At this time in history, antibiotics were not invented yet, so it was important that the flap was wrapped in a tube to lessen the risk of infection. Eventually, this technique was used as a treatment for injuries sustained during battle. Over the years, the methods for plastic surgery have improved, and this method was used less. However, until the 1970s, this was the most widely used reconstructive method for large skin injuries and defects. However, up to this day, some less privileged countries still use this method. It may have looked strange or even terrifying, but this method changed the lives of many people during the First World War. Gillies was able to gain a lot of experience by treating the soldiers that sustained injuries during battle. Modern medicine would not have reached its state today if not for the brave men and women who dared to change other people's lives. What a story. But that's all we have for now. Subscribe, comment, or hit the like button so you get more of this stuff. Thank you, and have a great day.